Sometimes when we watch a video or a movie, unconsciously, questions pop up of our minds. These issues could be why the main character does that to another character? Has she has any intentions as of why she is doing that? Why is she saying that? Why does he want to steal? There are many examples. Questions arise in our minds unconsciously when we watch movies. These are the critical practices that are making us want to find more answers to the mysteries or problems. It is the same as adopting critical pedagogy in the educational setting. When the individual began to have queries about the issues, problems or the objects, bear in mind it is a positive sign towards learning. Quote by Beza 2004, Critical practice is when the educators and the learners want to convey the differences. Differences in, for example, opinions or ideas, points, etc. As learners questions, asking critical questions they stimulate the learning, engage in solving which is considered to be otherwise important issues. The phenomena of critical practice is the learners rather than being unwilling to take action to change the circumstances of their lives, they aid on a realistic assessment of the situation. That is, the learners are making conscious decisions about their learning and life circumstances that are reasonable and rational. Claire 2004 studied the differences between critical thinking and critical pedagogy. Critical thinking in Clay's definition is the thinking involves reflecting on the premise of an argument and making a logical judgment about whether it is sufficiently supported. For example, if you tell me your dog can speak, I will more than likely ask for evidence and then consider alternative explanations for the empirical observation that your dashun has wished me good day. Critical pedagogy is quite different and it is less interested in examining the basis the basis for an argument than in showing how that argument fits within a system of educational and social power. Critical pedagogy challenges the idea, for example, that adults from lower social economic groups lack talent and it raises questions about how this idea supports the status quo. Now that you know basic ideas on critical practice, I will bring you more in the very near future. Finally, thank you so much for your participation, watching and listening. Until next time.